Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get this video started, hit that subscribe button and follow my socials. In today's video, I am going to be doing a first impressions of the iPhone 14 Pro, which I have right here. I hate that it reflects on everything. Yeah, so let's just get this video started. Just a quick thing, before I got my iPhone 14 Pro, I actually had the iPhone 12, the regular iPhone 12 in the purple color. Me going from the 12 to 14 Pro was definitely more of a change than someone who has the 13 Pro or Pro Max in my opinion. But let's just start. So I actually went to the Apple site, like I'm on the Apple site and I'm just going to go down every single like feature and just talk about the my first impressions first things first let's just talk about the color obviously when it comes to the pros and the pro maxes they don't really come out with a lot of colors they just stick to the same basic three colors black silver and gold and then they usually come out with like one like random color usually this year they came out with deep purple i do think it's a very beautiful color so last year for the 13 pros and pro maxes it was a blue they also came out with like a green one like later on though i don't know what the purpose of that was so but anyways i i actually really like the um, deep purple. You can't really tell. I don't think so. Should I take it out? No, I don't want to take it out though. It's, oh, you can see me filming. Anyways, um, yeah. I love the color. I do think it's a very beautiful color. So, um, first impressions, love the color. The retina display obviously is the same between the two phones. For the weight difference, my 12 was definitely a lot lighter. But the thing is, you, you get used to the weight of your phone. So after a while, you just stop noticing it. Like, I still notice it. Like, but again, it won't make a difference once you start using it because you will not even remember or really feel the weight. Yeah. Um, and then, so for the ProMotion, first impression on the ProMotion, because I like my 12, like obviously they started with ProMotion for the 13s and not below that i actually love the promotion like i can 100 percent tell i love that it's it's just such seamless smooth swiping before like with my 12 it's like choppy and like i would when i worked at apple and we would show people like the customers the 13 promotion it was just i noticed like i could tell and i'm like i, I wanted to buy a 13 but at that point it's like i had just bought my 12 so it didn't really make sense i absolutely love the promotion it's just the best thing. Like, I notice it every single time I swipe, type, go to a different app. It's just so smooth. And I just remember how, like, choppy my 12 was. So, I love the promotion. I think it's absolutely great. Um, the always-on display. Personally, I don't really care about the always-on display that much. Like, I actually have it turned off. Like, it came with the always-on display on the settings. That, like, it was automatically on. And I turned it off because, I don't know, I, I don't really like it. For me, that's, that's not really a deciding factor. I mean some people who want it like that's great so i'm glad they gave those people like the option like they gave the option to have an always on display but that's not really like a deciding important factor for me so that one's like i turned it off so that's my first impression i don't really like it with this feature it's the emergency sos via satellite i think it's a great safety measure i think that's something that should definitely be on every single phone i think that's a really good feature and i think that's a really cautious safety measure feature and i just i think that's just absolutely great so i think obviously you can't you don't use that unless there's actually no service like you don't you don't you don't really notice that until you're in that situation god forbid like i don't ever want to be in that situation but i do think that it's a really good feature to have on any type of phone because phones are just so like used worldwide and i definitely think that that's an important feature that every single phone should have because if you don't have service if you're going if you're in like the forest and there's like no service and you need to call help and the fact that you need service to call help was always just such a worrisome thing so i'm happy that like now you you have the option like for the emergency sos via satellite that way you don't need service to call for help so i think that's really awesome i think that's a really great feature to have dynamic island so that's definitely um that's definitely the main thing for the 14s so for me Oh my gosh, I just realized I have not said it. Okay, so I got the iPhone 14 Pro on September 16th and today is September 26th. So it's been exactly 10 days since I've had the phone and I've used it and stuff. That is why I'm making the first impressions video because it's just so like new, but I've also used it so like I can give my first impressions. So with the dynamic island, that's obviously the main difference between the 13s and the 14 well the 13 pros and the 14 pros like all the phones anyways that's the main difference between the 14 pros and the other phones after using it for about 10 days honestly that's personally i don't think it's such like a significant change 
I think it's like it's like a cool thing, like a a, a minimal cute like thing to just have. Like if I play a song, so I'm gonna play a song. I'm obviously not gonna play it out loud. I just played like a song from Spotify, right? And then I just swiped up and like now I'm on my messages. And then it just shows up. Hold on, do I have anything? No. It just like shows up. It just shows up that like a song is playing here. And like just certain small things like that. And, like it'll change color and I don't know. It's not really like super like, oh my gosh, I need to get the 14 Pro because of Dynamic Island. Like no i don't think it's super like i don't think it's a really big change but the thing that i do like is that i like the whole face id thing now because before with face id if you want to get into an app or you want to get into your bank app or whatever and you set up your face id as your password the face id would basically take up the entire screen and same thing with like your wallet whenever you need to use a card from like for your like apple pay it would take up the whole screen but now literally if i want to use my face id it literally shows up as like a square like, it shows up as a square, like a small square right here. And I just like that. It's it's a small thing that matter. So I'm really happy about that because I don't like the whole like face ID taking up the entire space. So I like that like I have this little thing and it just, whoop, just like that. So overall, is a dynamic island like the main reason you should get a new, the new iPhone 14 Pro? Not really, it's not like a super, oh my God, like that's such an amazing development, not really. I just like the face ID thing. Oh, talking about safety measures from before with the with the SOS via satellite thing. I like that this has like a crash detection thing. So if I understand it correctly, like if you, let's say you get into a crash or something and your phone's nearby, it can detect that you were in a crash and you can set it up to like call, I guess like emergency or like call like your emergency contact or something like that. So I think that's a really nice safety measure feature to have along with the emergency SOS via satellite, via, via, whatever. Anyways, we're moving on to the camera. So going from the iPhone 12 to the 13 Pro, I mean, to the 14 Pro, there's obviously significant changes. Um, the stabilization thing, whenever you're recording with the 12 would be so difficult because like I have like shaky-ish hands. And so like recording it, it wouldn't go smoothly, you know? There'd be like some turbulence out here. But the thing with the 14 Pro, and like I know the 13 Pro, cause like my I bought it for my fiance, and like I have my sister has, and my dad has, and stuff, and I've used their cameras, and I just love that it it was automatically like stabilized. Like when you're recording, it's just automatically stabilized, and I love that. So for me, that's like an amazing thing. The main change with the I think the 14 was 14 Pro was the um 48 megapixel camera so that means if i understand it correctly it means that the camera is bigger i can definitely tell oh and it says photonic engine for incredible detail and color something like that the cameras are super like when you whenever you take a picture and video now i feel like it's definitely a lot more detailed and a lot clearer like i have taken photos and videos on it and it's super clear which i like and thing is with the zoom i compared my dad's and i actually make a video on this i compare my dad's camera because he has a 13 Pro Max and I now I have the 14 Pro. And I actually compared the zoom. And the 14 Pro camera, when it comes to zoom, is awesome. Like, it's a lot more smoother. Like, my dad's, I think, is a little bit more harsh and it's a little bit blurry. But this one is, like, a lot more, like, detailed and a lot smoother and everything, which I'm so happy about. So I can definitely tell that the camera is significantly better, especially with my 12. But again, they always make changes to camera, but I do think like with the 14 Pro, the photos and the videos are a lot clearer, smoother, a lot more detailed and like color, colored, whatever they said. Photonic engine for incredible detail and color. I can definitely see that in the photos and the videos that I take with this camera. So I love the camera, 100%. Like that's, that's actually the main reason why I wanted the iPhone 14 Pro. I wanted mainly for the camera because I take a lot of photos and videos. So I love that. Okay, so there's definitely, um, when it comes to zoom ranges between the 12 and the 14 Pro, it's six times, and I do I do know. I would zoom with my 12 and it wouldn't zoom that much, and now I zoom with this and I'm like, oh my God, it zooms so much. So I love that. The battery is obviously a lot better than 12. And then they changed the chip. This one has an A16 and the, wait. Yeah, this one has an A16 chip and the iPhone 12 has an A14 chip. I mean, this obviously does have to, uh, this does correlate with the camera. So I can definitely see that this chip is better for the camera, but I can, but other than that, I can't really tell anything else besides the camera with the chip. Cause I know the CPU, the GPU and stuff like that. 
so yeah the camera is definitely a lot better so i know the chip was involved in that so that's great the ceramic shield front i can't tell the difference i don't i don't know that this was tougher than any smartphone or i can't really tell that the surgical grade stainless steel i don't know the pixel resolution on the 14 is definitely amazing amazing the brightness also amazing love the camera love the sensor shift optical image stabilization love that photonic engine love that one too oh i tried the cinematic mode and i was like oh oh my that's so cool i love it i love it yeah the safety the safety features are definitely really nice like it's a really good thing to have okay so this is the last thing i'm going to touch on which is the eSIM. i know that for so i think my fiance was explaining to me how oh, it's i think it's only the us like it's only this country that for the iPhone 14s, it's only eSIM and it's not compatible with the physical SIM card, which I find really dumb. You're telling me that you made a specific phone for just the US and not when you, not for like the other parts of the world because I don't like this idea. I honestly think that they should have came, like come up with the option to have physical SIM card and eSIM because when you travel, that causes an issue because now you can no longer put a physical SIM card in. And I just think it was too early for them to just make eSIM available for this phone and not physical and eSIM. Taking away the option of like physical SIM cards is gonna make it a little bit harder when you travel and you get like, and you need a physical SIM card. And like when you travel outside of the US, there might be some countries, some cities where it's not compatible with eSIM. Like they don't have eSIM, they just have physical SIM cards. So I think that one was honestly like a screw up in my mind. Um, I think they should have, like Apple should have definitely, for all the iPhone 14 Pros, uh, for the, all the iPhone 14s throughout the world, it should have been, you had the option of eSIM and physical. Like there should have been a physical SIM card port, like the slot. And they don't have that anymore for the, for the US iPhone 14s, which I think is just a really bad idea for people that travel, for people that wanna travel. I think it's just, they just made it a little bit harder. So I definitely think that that was where they messed up. I think they should have kept the eSIM and the physical SIM card compatible with the iPhone 14 Pro. Like the 13, it's eSIM and physical. Overall, when it comes to the iPhone 14 Pro, my first impressions is I love the color. I don't like the fact that it's a little bit heavy, but I won't notice it in a few weeks. I hate that the camera bulges out. Like that literally makes me so mad like i hate that it, like it comes out like i don't like that like i love my 12 because it was just like flat you know and like my phone case would just be flat but now these phone cases it's like here is flat but then here it, like it sticks out and i'm like i don't like that it makes me so mad but i love the promotion i love the face id dynamic island not a significant factor i i barely notice it most of the time i just see it sometimes because it'll change like the color for like the song or something and i'm like oh that's so nice but yeah i, I think first impression wise do you absolutely need the iPhone 14? No, especially if you have the 13. I don't really see what the point of like upgrading to the iPhone 14, cause very, very similar. But if you are someone who's nuts about like taking photos and videos, especially with your phone, I do think this is a great one um, because I do think they made, like I can, I can tell the difference, but maybe, that's because I have the 12. So maybe like for people who have the 13, maybe they can't really tell the difference, but like I can tell the difference with my 12. Definitely a lot clearer. The zoom, when you, whenever you take a photo and video and like you zoom in, it's a lot more clear. First impression, I said this, this is my third time saying it. If you have the 13s, I don't really think it's worth it to go up to 14. Um, but me going from the 12 to 14, I can tell like a lot, like there's a lot of differences and changes. Do you absolutely need this phone? Absolutely need this phone? No, because the Dynamic Island, I like. I know that that is the major change that they made, but it's not significant enough. Like, trust me, you won't even notice it after. Like, I honestly don't even notice it. Like, it's been only 10 days and I don't even notice it anymore. So I don't think that should be your deciding factor. So that is my first impressions on the iPhone. Oh my God. That's my first impressions on the iPhone 14 Pro. I will try to do, like, I have a few videos in mind that i want to do like i want to do what's on my iphone 14 pro so like i'll i can screen record and i can show you guys like what apps i have and like what i use mostly how i set it up and all that stuff i, I want to do what's on my iphone 14 pro i want to do like what's on my ipad air because i have an ipad 
And then like I want to do the iPhone 13 Pro versus iPhone 14 Pro camera so you guys can see that difference. So I'm going to work on that. So this was my first impressions iPhone 14 Pro video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.